Come up Productions. What's up guys, it's Ruby and I'm back with another video and today is day, I don't even know if this quarantine shit, I know unfortunately some of you guys are home, a lot of you are home and out of work due to this, hopefully it goes over soon, but just comment down below and let me know what you guys are doing to pass your time by and to make sure you're straight or whatever. Um, as I stated in my post earlier, every time my channel jumps up another 20 subscribers, I will be pulling more and more questions that you guys have asked me and answering them for you guys. So, I know it's been a week or so since I uploaded and I apologize, just bear with me. Life, guys. That's always going to be my excuse, life. And I've had it up to here with it. <laughs> nah, but just bear with me. So, without further ado, if you're not already subscribed, please make sure to do so and join these vibes of mine, and we're going to get right into it. First question I have is, what was the last state you visited? The last state I visited was my hometown, New York. Can't go wrong with visiting the Big Apple. Talk nicely. What do you do to get rid of stress? What is something you're obsessed with? I am obsessed with myself. Duh. No. I am. I'm obsessed with myself. I'm obsessed with those that I love. I'm obsessed with my money. And I'm really obsessed with the thought of my success. What are three words to describe you? I am beautiful. I am smart. And I am loyal. And a bonus one, I'm funny as fuck. What is your favorite number and why? My favorite number is seven. I don't know why, since I was a little girl, it's been seven. It would have made more sense for it to be five for my birthday month, but the number seven always stood out to me, so that's what it is. What would you consider a perfect weekend? Either chilling by my lonely or Spending time with someone that I actually want to spend time with, as well as family, you know. But I don't mind being dolo at all. What's the most useful thing that you own? My mentals. Let me say it again. My mentals, my brain, my thoughts, all of that. Um, what do you think of tattoos and do you have any? I love tattoos. I love ink. They don't hurt to me. I love them, and I have seven and more to come. Um, what were you really into as a kid? As a kid, me and my cousins, we always danced. We danced for everything. Baby showers, weddings, cookouts, birthdays. It doesn't matter what the occasion was. If our family was turning up, we had a whole dance for them, if not a few. So between dancing and jumping double dutch, that's a throwback. I'm sure I can still do it, too. Who in your life who in your life brings you the most joy right now? Right now, there's a couple people, but at the top of my list is definitely gonna be my nephew. My nephew brings me a lot of happiness for various reasons, but he's definitely at the top of my list. And I don't care which one of you family members of mine hating on that. That's the Brody. become me. I don't dwell on my past. I don't blame anyone for my past, good or bad reasoning. It's all me. I'm the reason for everything in my life and who I am today and who I'm going to be in the future. Uh, do you prefer a great home or a car? I will choose a great home over anything. It's 
better to have somewhere nice to lay your head, somewhere to lay your head in general, but somewhere nice, I'll choose that over a vehicle. That shit could come and go. Do you believe in paranormal or do you believe in paranormal and would you go ghost hunting? I do believe in it to an extent. I would be really scared to go ghost hunting, but I will. I will just for the thrill. I'll be terrified, but I will. <laughs> if you had a pet that could talk, what would you teach it to say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about pineapple on pizza? That shit is so nasty. Pineapple does not go on pizza at all. And I hate when people get pineapple and sausage. That shit is disgusting. I like cheese or pepperoni, that's it, but I prefer cheese. Um, what is your least favorite food? Everyone should know this by now. It's definitely vegetables. What is the most useless, the most useless, what is the most useless talent that you have? Excuse me, sorry. I almost couldn't read my own handwriting. My useless talent would have to be doing hair. It is not my passion at all. I knew how to do hair since a young age. I love to do my own and like my family members that ask me and things like that, but it's not my passion. I don't see a career out of it. So therefore, a lot of people tell me that I'm just wasting the talent, one of the talents that I have. And I agree. It is what it is. What is your dumbest injury and how did you receive it? My dumbest injury would have to be when I almost broke my elbow. And how I got it was out of anger. I let anger get the best of me. Went to go slam a door during an argument and the door almost broke my shit, like, it bent all the way back. So yeah, it was really, I was left there looking stupid at the end, but whatever, I'm fine. <laughs> Something you have given up learning how to cook. One thing I can say for sure, and don't laugh, because there's a lot of people like me out there when it comes to this, is grits. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I cannot make grits for shit. Either it's too hard or too lengthy. It just never comes out right. I've eaten my own grits that I fucked up before, but I wouldn't serve it to nobody. But it's grits. I'm, I'm just done. I didn't even attempt to make the instant grits. <laughs> passwords with your partner is not an issue okay if you have my password I should have yours it's just as simple as that my only thing is which I've done it you know I've crossed the line before I've done it to people I don't want it done to me but I don't feel like somebody should just have the right to just whenever they want pick up my shit and go through it you know that's not to say I'm doing anything wrong or Nothing sideways or sneaky, but it's just like my privacy is my privacy. What you consider my privacy might be a whole nother thought in your head, but you have family you talk to. You, you know, you just, everything ain't for you to see, you know? So the fact the fact of knowing that someone could just pick up my shit, unlock it, and go through it whenever they want. It's a little bit annoying, but if I have your password and I get permission to do the same shit, fuck it. But I have crossed the line before and yeah. But it's not a problem. You have mine, I have yours. It is what it is. I have a bonus question. Question number 21. Is it hard for you to forgive and move on? I want to say yeah and no. I also want to say it depends on the situation. But for the most part, yes. I've done it more than enough, you know? But I believe it has to be something that really made me question why that specific person is in my life type shit for me to not want to forgive you or move on in whatever type of relationship that it is if that makes sense but yeah i can forgive and move on and i will hope that people other people out there think the same a lot of people like to hold grudges and shit like that that shit just makes you miserable so it is what it is 
that wraps up those questions guys like i said every time my channel jumps up another 20 subscribers i will be pulling more and more questions to answer for you guys make sure you hit that like button comment down below give me any ideas i'm still open i'll take heed to everything you guys say turn on your post notifications so that you won't miss out on any videos and subscribe guys subscribe 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 and without further ado stay tuned for my next video i'm ruby peace